Newbies Not at all. Turn to pick. In this game. What about you? Are you into it? No, look at him. Nasty. All right, man. Listen, I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> this is like. <laughs> Oh, KP is in some trouble here, man. He's got a TP scroll, but he's getting oh, slow down. Oh, boy, he's done so. MP, they secure first blood, whirling axes. What the hell? Looks like that's what they're They will lose three bounty runes. They only get one, but they might find a kill here, as you mentioned. Here comes the frost arrows, the ignite, the swarm. Dual breath will come out. Puppy still in a whole lot of trouble. It is not first blood. It'll be Kaka to secure it as he has the swarm taken. Frost mm. throws on the ground to help secure that too. So. And no precision aura, so it's going to take a little while for them to get to that point. Now, dual breath Kaka in trouble. He doesn't have Scucci, and they know it. He gets caught in a position. Faith is going to be next. Already, secret going in. Faith still alive for now. Frost is slowing down MP. There's the dual breath. The Absor needs to get one more auto attack, and he looks like he will find it. He might die for it, though. He's already used the Shadow Walk. Kaka trying to chase him down. The swarm is up. Mogi is going over there as well, but they don't have well as armor. So that's something to keep in mind. I'm surprised they're not sacking this bottom lane and kind of just keeping the Weaver here with the Drow. Whirling Axes will go and the Dual Breath and Faith is in even more trouble. Frost Air is coming out. They don't have, they finally have Precision R, but Faith is still going to get caught and bashed up by MP. Now they're chasing Mogi down underneath the tower. U9 is going to back himself up and away. And uh, this lane does not seem great for Newbie. Yeah, I don't know how much longer they can sit down here. But... I missed the dust too. So, so interesting. Call will come out. Nicely done. KP doing some counter helix procs. Now down bottom. Here we go. Mogi getting caught. Stormer's there. There's the rolling axes. And again, a death coming out. Fire Blast. Ignite. They're trying to turn onto Puppy. I don't think they're going to get this kill. Maybe with Scucci and a couple of auto attacks. But they will lose faith for it. Now Kaka. He does get the return kill. But it's a two for one trade. And now the gold is starting to get out of control. As Secret get up to 1500 net worth advantage. The Drow will rotate back down bottom. What about Faith? Looks like he's heading away. Kaka is still uh, getting chased by Absor, by the way. It's looking like time to bring out the... Absor chasing after Kaka. Dust is up and ready. And you know what? The Absor's probably dead here. He has no TP. He has no way to get out. Shadow Strikes to come in. And uh, he is completely blocked. And they'll probably try to get this kill to SEC. I'm faithful taken instead. But... Well, and I, also, the Breathe Fire was there, too. It's the damage reduction. You can't forget about that. It's pretty significant, actually. Yeah. Just down bottom, Mogi getting dove as Faith TP's away. So they're trying to find the kill on mid one mid, and they might. There's the swarm. The armor reduction is there. The blinkin. A couple more auto attacks should do the job. Good breathe fire, but it's not enough to reduce the damage as SEC and Faith. Vanguard's a nice safe way of securing your farm because typically when you have Brood Mother, you'll want to rotate up. Max has a Vanguard. Oh, here we go. Fight happening at CC Sonic Wave, but he will go down as the is there. Mid one might trade his life away. The breathe fire. Is it going to be enough? They need another at least ignite, but mid one's still low. Can't fight. Can't quite find this kill. One more auto attack. It's the fire blast. It still doesn't get the kill. The auto attacks from Faith. He's not going to get it done. He doesn't have any mana left, and mid one's going to turn and get a double kill. What a tilt. Prop has finally respawned, and this tower already taking a lot of damage from the Elder Dragon Foreman. Should fall. Ice Cap comes out again. Mid one is not there. He finally comes out. He was looking for the dragon. He really needs that flank dagger. A thousand some odd goal away. And uh, with that, it could turn things around. We're going to go back top again. Here's the breathe fire. This time they've got mid one. The Elder Dragon Foreman with the Dragon Tail. Breathe fire to follow up. There's going to be the Ice Path. A lot of damage. He will use that call. Might keep him alive for a moment. They have another spawn spiderlings. That will secure the kill for Kezu. Kaka rotates up, albeit too late. Yeah, that and blink calls are big enough that it could certainly turn things around. But as it stands right now, the call will come out. There's going to be the ultimate from the Broodmother as well. The spiderlings are coming in. Nice micro, too. Dust will come out. There's the stream. They actually caught Kezu with it. Sonic Wave to come through. They'll probably get Puppy, but will they get more? They've got the haste move speed coming in from the Calling Blade. And Kezu, though, Dust is still up, but not for much longer. Scream of Pain coming in. They need another Dust. He's now... That's the, the space play right there. Trading your Jakiro for a free Tier 2 tower. Yeah, they're not, ha they're not, they're not really sad about that secret. Let's see if they can find something else, too. Toss is about to be chased down. Medallion. See you later. Breathe fire. You're dead. Big too little too late. The Absor chasing after Faith as well. He's starting to get rich. He's going to Axe's game. Wow. The Absor feels that good. More tracks coming through. Coming out. Ice path to fly through. They do stun Kezu. They also get a dust off. 
There's the Aegis being picked up by the SEC coming in. Kezu might be in trouble. They need this kill. They're about to find it. Calling Blade. That's a giant pickup. They've also lost Puppy. And now Secret needs to leave. KP, he's got Blink in six seconds. Blink in Scream of Pain. Mid one will be taught. At least hit up by the Shadow Strike, but it's not nearly enough. Kaka still chasing after the Absor. KP deciding not to go for it. Shuriken comes in, time lapse. Kaka taking a, lot, taking a lot of damage, but he'll be at the bottom lane. Kaka did a very good job of split pushing that. Of course, trying to get the Aghanim set for the big item. Now they'll jump in. They're going to find Mugi. It's going to be the Macro Pyro, the Ice Path, and boy, is he dead. To make a kill spree for mid one on the DK, and now they're going to work this into a tier three tower push. MP is going to come right up. Good call. Does have Aegis. Good Dragon Tail to follow through. The Orca comes out. The Sonic Wave is there as well. Aegis about to go down. They need a call, and they will find it. Now with Aegis gone, this might be good enough to really turn things around. We'll see. Backing away some of the creeps, or rather the Spiderlings taking some damage. Now jumping in. DK getting caught with another Fire Blast. There's the Shadow Strike. Shrine will come through. I don't know if Secret want to stay here. They will back up in his. Kezu, they think they've spotted him. Dust will come out. There's the Orchid. Shadow Strike to follow up as well. And on the other side, Dragon Tail coming out. They're trying to blow up the Sweeper. Can he get off the time lapse? He sure can. And scooching away as well. Now can Nubi make it out cleanly is the question. If he getting chased down, more rolling axes to come momentarily. Scream of Pain, another Dragon Tail. This axe in trouble. There's the Battle Trance. Good Gust, but KP in trouble. Good call to give him that extra armor, but the Spawn Spiderlings will finish him off along with more. So, axe now down for 38 seconds, and that might be the biggest thing that they need to do to push high ground here. He's going to get Puppy. Nice, but they're losing their Disney Tower top. So the clip has to go. He's coming out. Cock is nearby. Battle Trance going to work. Kerber of MP. There it is. Tier 3 tower finally gone. Yeah, I don't know. 15 seconds without him. This is looking pretty difficult. There's a lot of decent wards coming out here too for Secret to spot up the movies. They will try to find this kill on the troll. It would be huge. Good call. The orc comes out. The sonic wave. They're blowing everything and they will secure the kill. That's what they need. Back and of course behind the mid lane as well. And this is again the issue. You know, you could come in, and if you take a fight, you got to be careful. You can pick you up pretty quickly. SCC's going to get caught. There's Dragon Tail. Ice Path comes out. Macro Pyre, and they've already lost the Quap. KP is going to be next if he's not careful. And even with that Crimson Guard, he is forced to buy back. Still SCC down for 45 seconds. They need that damage. Call will miss. Mid one points out. It's kind of dumb things happening here, I feel like. We are kind of trickling in here. Ooh, Yapsor. Ooh, they know where he is. Morgan comes out. Roche will come out, but here comes the one great ice pad from Puppy. The macro power to fall up the breathe fire. They will get the Weaver. They will get KP. It is a dieback. Dead for 61. SCC, luckily enough, is able to blink out, but everybody else getting chased down. Movie's going to get dragon tailed up. More breathe fire, whirling axes, fire blast to keep him alive. MP is going to chase him down, though. Good try in that force. Will still fall. A double kill for MP. Kezu chasing down Faith. Let's get chewed up by this poor freaking spider. They'll grab a kill. Godlike spree coming in for mid one. And that should just about end it, I would imagine, wow. Brex. Yep, and that's good. Cool. Wow's come out all around. This that is secret. Um, this is a complete U turn from game one. Absolutely. They look 10 times better. And originally, you know, we saw that drought pickup and we're thinking, okay, you know, this is a lot of pushing.